from film cowboys wearing 501s and westerns to movie stars like Marilyn Monroe and Halle Berry. Today, we're going to Hollywood. Welcome to the Levi's Archives. I'm Tracy Panic, historian at Levi Strauss and Company and director of our archives. Levi Strauss and Company was born in San Francisco in Northern California, and that location and proximity was beneficial when the early Hollywood film houses began opening. Back in the 1930s and even earlier, costume houses operated very independently. They would source their costumes on their own. We have a number of garments with insignia on them from some of the early Hollywood costume houses and even little initials like WB that most likely stood for Warner Brothers. John Wayne appeared in Stagecoach in 1939, and it was filmed in Monument Valley. I was lucky enough a few years ago to visit Monument Valley. I wanted to get a look at that beautiful, iconic landscape. He wore a pair of cuffed Levi's 501s, and he created what would become that signature Western movie style. In the archives, we have a terrific outfit that was worn by the actor Harry Morgan, who would later gain fame in the television series MASH. In the movie called Arena, he's wearing a polka-dotted red and white shirt with a pair of oversized Levi's. On the back side is a big sign that says, Kick Me, and it's one of the fun early Western pieces of costume that we have in the archives. There's a terrific photograph of Leo Carrillo from The Cisco Kid. He's dressed in Levi's 501s and a cowboy hat holding a saddle. And next to him on the wall of the barn is an ad for Levi's. In her final film, Marilyn Monroe wears a pair of Lady Levi's in The Misfits. Levi's became such an important part of the costume in Western film that there was even a song written about it. Movies in the 1950s, like Marlon Brando's The Wild One, that featured the actor wearing a pair of cuffed Levi's 501s and a leather jacket, helped create the image of the rebel. One of the more modern Westerns is Brokeback Mountain. Heath Ledger is dressed in a pair of Levi's 501s, and Jake Gyllenhaal is wearing a pair of Levi's signature jeans. Check out the name of his character, on the inside. Westerns weren't the only genre that actors were wearing Levi's in. They also appeared in sci-fis, including the blockbuster movie, Star Wars. In his leading role as Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill was actually wearing a pair of Levi's. He sometimes refers to his costuming as wearing a pair of bleach Levi's, but they were actually a pair of our stay-pressed white Levi's. One of the ways that Levi's continues to be relevant today is we make our products available to Hollywood filmmakers and a lot of rising stars at the House of Strauss. My name is Nicole Schertz and I'm the Entertainment Marketing Manager at the LA House of Strauss. We are in West Hollywood, very close to Chateau Marmont, about 15 to 20 minutes away from all of the studios. We are an entertainment marketing showroom. We service film and TV product placement. We work with musicians, influencers, talent of all sorts. For her 2013 role in the movie The Call, Halle Berry was wearing this t-shirt and a pair of Levi's 501s. A few years ago, I was lucky enough to visit my friends at the NBC Universal Studios archives and they pulled out Levi's to share with me, Warren in Fast and Furious, and even Matt Damon in some of the Born Identity series. The process usually begins with either the costume designer or the studio reaching out to us and letting us know that they're in pre-production. Really just wanting to make sure we get Levi's on the best people, people who align with the brand and 
who we know will look great in our product. It's super relevant that we've been around for so long because for certain period pieces, we were the only denim brands out at that time. We oftentimes make the most sense, whether it's a Western or a 50s piece or something done in the 60s, I feel like we're the number one place to come. Some exciting shows and films that we've worked with would be Where the Crawdads Sing, Daisy Jones and the Six, The Gray Man, and Dave, which is a newer one. Levi's have played an important role in Hollywood historically, in movies today, and Levi's will continue to play an important role in films in the future. Thanks for joining us for another episode in the Levi's Archives.